Salem. Pure Salem. Back, back to the back, back to the witch trials. Sit down, calm down, settle, students. All right. <clears throat> Hello. Welcome or welcome back to Working Class Music. I'm one of your hosts, Tia. And I am Jason, and I still wonder if Deckard's a replicant or not. I vote that he is. Thank Comment down below, replicant yeah. or not. Let us know. And on today's episode, we will be covering two guitars from Pure Salem. On my corner, we've got the J-Doe. J-Doe. Is that Jace. like short for John Doe or Jane Or Jane Doe, could go either way. Just mm -hmm. J. Yeah. J is pretty gender neutral. Yeah. And Jason. Or I'm sorry, Jay. Are you assigning my gender? No. <laughs> what do we have in that corner? <laughs> Jason, what's over there? In this corner, we have the Mendiola men. Because real men play pink. Yeah, shell pink. I don't even call it that. I don't think it's quite shell pink. Yeah. It's, yeah. Darker. it's more hey. like bubblegum-ish. Hey. It's very Majin Buu pink. It Let is. us know what the finish is in the comments. And also your favorite version of Majin Buu. Yeah. You got a lot of homework. So. Our good friend Rick from Pure Salem Guitars sent these out to us for us to try out for you here today. We're incredibly thankful. Thank you, Rick, and also thank you for the Jimmy. We're not done yet. Xander, if you will. What the fuck? <laughs> Happy birthday! I greatly appreciate it. And now, on to the specs. For the J Doe, the specs include a mahogany body, one-piece mahogany neck that is a bolt-on, a thin C-shaped profile neck with a light satin finish, rosewood fingerboard with dot inlays. It is a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length neck. The electronics include custom Pure Salem branded pen locking Grover tuners, Tone Pro's roller bridge, gold though less trim, two custom wound Pure Salem single coil pickups, in a three-way toggle with a master and tone knob. It also includes medium jumbo frets. So as far as the specs on my guy goes, or girl, gender neutral, whatever you want to be. It's a guitar. <laughs> so yeah, the specs are as followed. It has a mahogany body. It is a one-piece mahogany neck. It's a bolt-on like all F-style guitars. It has a modern, thin C-shaped neck with a light satin finish. Of course, my favorite, rosewood fingerboard with dot inlays, custom Pure Salem branded pin locking Grover tuners. This is gonna be kind of a short scale, so it's a 24 and 3 fourths scale length. Tone Pro's bridge and stop tailpiece. You have three custom wound Pure Salem single coil pickups, three-way toggle with a master volume and master tone, medium jumbo frets, and it weighs around 7.2 pounds. Yeah, I saw that and didn't want to read that. Yeah, I, I just, I just threw that It made it feel like a there. baby. Yeah, so uh, on to the uh, on to the sound. sound. And we are starting on the uh, bridge position. Both.
something around there. Yep. Oh man. Bridge pickup. Up. Neck pick up. Attempted it. I can't do it. The, the, <laughs> oh, you're doing the yeah, no, the, the the middle pickup. Yeah. Like like right where. The whole pickup in the way. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I won't. <laughs> okay, we both just started. <laughs> yeah. dun, dun. Okay, that's it. All right, let's <laughs> final thoughts. This shit. Uh, let's close it out. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um. <laughs> final. You ever watch? You ever watch Smiling Friends? No. Sorry, I know you just burped, but it reminds me of like when he's at the dinner table and just throws up and he's like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I ruined it. Sounds like something that would happen in my life. Final first impressions. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Jason, you want to start or you want me to start? Uh, you start because I'm, 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 I'm still oh. formulating my thoughts. Yeah, so J Doe, super, super cool sounding guitar. It honestly took the overdrive a lot better than I was expecting for a guitar with single coil pickups. It was definitely like that kind of thicker, aggressive sound. I don't know what Rick did to achieve that, but good job. That sounded awesome. The clean sound also I was a huge fan of. Like obviously clean and a neck pickup, you know, two peas in a pod. And I love that neck pickup. I kind of wish like I had like a telly or something that could sound like that. In short, it sounds great. It feels great. Check out like, this, the body. Look at the body. It's so cool looking. Like it, it looks odd, but it looks familiar. It looks new, but it looks old. Like if you had dug up a catalog from like the 60s and you saw this there, you'd be like, yeah. I thought you were going to say like if you dug up a cat. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I was with you guys in like animal death. You know what color dog hair smoke is unless you burn a dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so like if you dig up an old Sears catalog and you saw this next to like some silver tones, it wouldn't look odd is what I'm getting at. Great job on the design, the sound, the feel. And am I missing anything else? Is there another sense I'm missing? Feel sound, feel sound. Looks. Looks, yeah, the aesthetics, awesome. A plus, I love it. This thing is awesome. Killer, killer guitar. I want more guitars with this trim system. Like I know it's not gonna stay in tune the best, but this one, it held tune pretty well. So yeah, no, all things considered, looks great, sounds great, feels great. A plus. Like that's a less trim, you could put that on your SG. Don't it's give like... me ideas, don't give me ideas, don't <laughs> give me ideas. So final thoughts on this, on my go around. On paper, this would be my ideal strat. Chazmaster yeah. body. Strapmaster. Uh, yeah, Strapmaster, whatever you want to call it. Three-way pickup, Jazzmaster body, and shell pink. What, what like shell pink? It's so classy. Or whatever pink. It's pink. Cadillac pink. Cadillac pink, DuPont pink, pink. Majin Boo pink. It's pink. This should be my ideal strat. <laughs> Overall, the neck is super comfortable. I really, really like the neck. And being that it has rosewood, you know, we kind of get a plus in that, you know, get a little, get a little check right there. The pickups, I was pleasantly surprised. The bridge pickup in this is actually very usable. Unlike I'm, those strats. Yeah. I'm kind of glad that we eliminated the two and four position, the quack position, because not saying I feel 
those are useless, I feel like they have a certain sound. Yeah, I definitely think of like ska and like funk when I think of like those in-between sections of a strat, like that quackiness mm -hmm. that you just mentioned. He streamlined the process by eliminating that. Yeah. It gives you that more aggressive, kind of like more in your face sound, mm -hmm. you know, right off the bat. Other than that, I think it looks classy. If I were to say a negative, not really a negative, considering what you can do, wiggle stick. Gotta have a little wiggle stick, like, you know, that's that's part of the vibe. Especially and, on like a JM style. Yeah. Vibe. I get that. But overall, I like it. I think it mixes both. And like you said, it wouldn't look out of place in a old Sears catalog next to something like a Jazzmaster, JM style, whatever. I'll give this an A, because there isn't really much that I dislike about it. It's just something that's personal preference. Mm -hmm. Different strokes, different folks yeah. and all that. You know, what works for some may not work for others, but if you're in the market for a new guitar and you're able to try these out, at least give them a try. Yeah. I think they're worth your time. Rick keeps just knocking them out. I've yet to be disappointed by anything that he has sent us, so right? that says a lot. Yeah, so if you want to mix it up and you don't want to be like all your friends who have their Les Pauls and their Butterscotch Blonde Telecasters, I'm just saying if you want to try something different from the rest of the crowd, but you still want something that is able to hold its own in a very strong way, definitely check out Pure Salem. And with that said, it is closing time. So we are closing out this motherfucker. That's so weird. Yeah, right? no, you say fuck. Yeah, yeah, so. I mean, we haven't gotten demonetized yet on yeah. anything. So like, yeah, dude, we're in the last couple minutes. You probably just say fuck. Fuck, fuckity, fuck, 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 fuck. We are closing out Hand this flagged. motherfucker. Yeah. With that said, thanks again to Rick over at Pure Salem. Really appreciate you trusting us with this. Maybe you'll get one back or two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nelson's birthday is coming up. Nelson's birthday is coming up. I'm sorry, we got four people. We got four <laughs> birthdays. <laughs> For the comment on this one, again, was Deckard a replicant or was he a human? My vote is replicant. I, I think he was a human. And down Come. below, let's do a shootout. Pink versus blue. Men versus women. <laughs> I'm not Jason's falling into like, this trap. I'm not touching that. But yeah, no, comment down below which one you preferred and let us know why. Please don't just be like, Jado. Like, let us know why. Just, you know, because of looks, because of sounds. Just let us know why. Please explain. <laughs> and with that being said. Like, subscribe, comment, do the normal YouTube stuff. Sweetwater, socials, affiliate, Patreon, merch. You know what to do. You're, it's not your first time here. And if it is, Thank you. Welcome. Welcome and thank and you. And goodbye. Adios. movie kick still for like the last year i recently just watched uh what was the one with the replicants uh blade, blade runner? runner blade runner which one the very first one no i mean like which cut because <laughs> like the very yeah, like, like sorry, there's like the sorry <laughs>